Hello everyone, my name is Korazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, Episode 4. This video originally streamed live here on YouTube on April 6, 2024. I hope you enjoy the episode. So the, the saguaros are not um, farmable or plantable, which kind of mimics real life. Like, saguaro take forever to... Hello. Forever to grow. Maybe I shouldn't have made this clay vessels. <laughs> We got some more flint. Ooh, and some beeswax. Not enough to make a candle, but uh, that's really cool. Take all of you. Absolutely. Yeah, I am a masterful grave robber. I am. I, I will shamelessly admit it. Don't die near me. I'll just take everything. <laughs> yeah, and we do have better ruins on, so uh, we will be robbing some mighty graves. At some point here. Ooh, what is this? A seed vessel. Oh, yes. What do we got? I can't tell anymore. Uh, soybeans. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, those are heat resistant up to 40 degrees. I think we're already going to lose some of our uh, crops to heat. Because I saw it get really close to 40 already. Why am I using my hands for this? Am I hurting? Did a stone fall on me? All right, let's get some of this dirt up here. Oh, you oh, you mean the fern trees in the jungle? Yeah, those would be pretty cool. They are pretty neat. All right, one grave robbed successfully. Let's head down to these massive grave sites. Let's see. First one's right below us. I'm going to grab this fruit first. Have a bit of a bite. I actually like foraging as I go sometimes. It's uh, I think it's kind of fun. I spy some berry bushes, but I'm not sure of the utility of them. They might not produce much. They are flowering. All right, berries don't have an upper temperature, do they? Well, I'll leave them here. There's just two. And unless I spot a bunch more, I might just generally leave them be. They might not be terribly productive if we don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of them. I'm going to chuck this out. Don't need one flint. Change my name to Robin Graves. Yeah, I probably should. And we got sunflowers. I'll take some seeds. Yes, please. I have a feeling we'll be farming primarily in the winter at some point. Uh, we have here a forage vessel. Some blue clay and some andesite stones. Nice. We'll dig around some of these a little bit. I'm not probably going to get too crazy with these smaller ruins. Especially because this is like a nothing ruin. Yeah. Uh, and this is probably also not really worth digging out too much. Yeah, just because right the dirt. Now that, that there is a ruin. Ho, 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 ho. Tool, tool. Hey, it's full of me. <laughs> what do we got? Flint axe. What a bronze axe. No way. Oh, that's great. Bye, Andesite. Let's go throw down our... There we go. Throw down this guy. Our vessel. And we're going to chuck this stuff in here. How about you two? Thank you, Lily. Yeah, it is a good feeling to be here. It is... Uh, been a long journey, but a good one. We could have left that behind. Uh, I'll leave this here while we're getting stuff. Hey, Chris. Yeah, you definitely are catching a stream. The first Corazar stream in the history of history. What do we got? A tin bronze shovel. No way. Bamboo. <laughs> I don't need, really need bamboo at the moment. And more flint stuff. Oh, do we have a flint? Nope. Or a pickaxe? No. Well, let's go and drop this stuff in here. Beeswax. This stuff. Uh, the shovel, too. We'll, we'll burn through our flint shovels first. And, actually, while we're here, 
I can press the right button. Let's go ahead and just make a hat. I want a hat. Let's do it. Boop. Big old bamboo cone hat. <laughs> there we are. My beautiful hat. The hit is Jarception. <laughs> I was hoping for a pickaxe, just to sort of speed that process up, but I guess we'll have to do our mold. Sag. I am going to probably keep most of these flint tools, unless we end up overfilling on them. And then I'll start pruning my my spoils of war here. Uh, you go in here. And you go that way. And you know what? I'm probably not going to worry about the antisite stones. They're beautiful. But uh, I'm sure we'll find more. A lot more. Let's get this dirt up and see if there's anything lurking underneath. I hear hyenas. Oh, hello. Do you mind? And... Bong. Down you go. Sir. Okay, take some of this and some of this. Uh, we are getting pretty full. So we probably are going to have to start pruning our inventory already. Medium rawhide. Leave that. Ooh, I'm sensing yummy things under here. And I get my gray robin hat on. Or not. What do we got? Oh, we do have something. <gasps> Staircase! That means, one, I can have a way out of here. There we go. And two, that means we got something down here. What have we got? We have spooter webs. Oh, not too bad. We have a uh, ruined spiked mace. We have creepy music. Some more piles of bones, which I'm not super jazzed about. And an altar and some candle stubs. This is cool decorative odds and ends, but I'm not uh, not going to bother with anything else in here. And the spider webs can go right back where they came from. Bye. Okay. That's a cow. Um, What do you have for us? Down we go. Oh, we have stone, apparently. I mean, I guess not much going on here. Or if there is, we might have to uh, bring a pickaxe. Yep, not seeing much going on here. Oop, hello, cow. Please, no, not again. I will stab you if I have to. Grab a bite to eat here. Our lone meal for the day. Mm -mm, bamboo shoots. Every day. Let's see, I am going to dump probably these axes here. Buy axes. I'll keep one just for breaking up logs. Goodbye, extra flint. And we will tuck. Uh, probably just. No, nothing really. It's like you, you're full stack. I'll leave that at home. Alright. Let's grab this and be off to the next grave to rob. Along with sunflowers. And, ooh. Flax. Yes, please. Yes, please. One nice thing about the savannah is that it is so easy to spot stuff. I might even come back here for some of that papyrus. Where ours matures. Now, I do spy 
family of little doggies. For you. Probably nothing, but we'll check. Yeah, not much going on there. Let's just skip around these bad boys. And what have we here? Ah, sort of like a ruined wall. I like. I like more when I find out what's underneath it. Well, let's get to work. Milk the stream. <laughs> you thought I wasn't watching, Phaedri. Hmm. Not seeing a whole lot here. on the inside. Here we go. Now we're talking. What do we got? Ore. We have brown coal. Not bad. That will start us on our way to uh, to copper here. And more ore. Okay. <gasps> more brown coal looks like. Yes. Uh, we are solid. And more ore with some really small amounts of copper. <laughs> Two copper. What have we here? I think we're at the end of what's to be found under this one. As well as about the end of our shovel. We do have a bronze shovel, but I'm going to probably hold onto that for, for later. Let's see, what do we have here? You're probably worth digging up. I see bunny soil. That one might be... The rest of these I'm not so sure about, but I guess I'll find out. Let's make another shovel. And I wish we had more inventory space, but we will soon. and grab this stuff now. Hmm. I am thinking not much else to be found here. Yep. Okay, so that one's a bit of a bust. What have we here? Some kind of farmhouse? Ish. Oh, got some more walls deep down here. That can be indicative sometimes of there being underground loot. Oh, hello. There's something. Yep, we will be uh, checking out those acacias real soon. Because I need some wood for firing clay. And also to start building things. <laughs> Maybe even a gate. For our farm. It would, would be nice. Oh, here we go. What is this ruin on? I am not familiar with this one. This could be a better ruins ruin or just one of the new 119s. <gasps> what are you? Hmm. Hey, Nasty. Hey, sleeping in, always worthwhile. I actually didn't sleep in this morning. I was, uh, <laughs> I was very jazzed about this morning. I was like, man, I gotta get up early and start doing stuff, and I did. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we can't break dry stone anymore with our hands. If we ever could. So I guess this is going to be a come back and check it out kind of thing. Uh, ruin. I'm going to make you maybe gold because we haven't finished checking you out yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, compared to the uh, the guide series, this this could definitely be... I can, I can see how this would feel like speedrunning. Okay, let's take one more peek at it. Ooh, this ruin looks like it is rife with goodies. Hello. Also rife with no floor. Um, I'll probably need another shovel to get back up, but let's go see what we can do here. It's a very weird sound. Ooh, hello. Food. Uh, let's see. Oh, more food. More soybeans and more flax. Yeah, we come back here very shortly, I think. Um, how is our storage doing? Full. Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's, let's dump out some of this here. I'm going to grab whatever's in here. Rye. Okay. And... I can't get out of there easily, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to run back to base. We're going to drop off the stuff we've gotten, including some new soybean seeds. And I might even drop something else. No, we will just eat our food here. Some of it. I'll drop you. Goodbye. There we go. All right, we will head back to base, and then we'll come back here, ransack this, and get some acacia. And then I think we will start in on copper, because we are moving along. Ooh, onions. They won't grow very well, though, I don't think. You have an olive tree, too. Uh, tricky, yeah, we've been sleeping full nights for a while. Uh, our, our baby is no longer a baby. She is uh, two and a half. Uh, yeah, someone else had a baby. Um, I I know who you're talking about, and I can't put a name to them. <laughs> Although we are we are doing two things at once. We are doing potty training and migration from crib to bed, and uh, that's that's impacting sleep a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no cuts. I could smash that, uh, hit you guys with a commercial button, but no. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Well, why did I pick that up? <laughs> I have no space for it. All right. Let's drop our fat in here. That bear noise freaked me out. Uh, we're pretty full up there, too. So. All oh, right. I have soybeans somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, for, for being two, she is a very good kid. She's a real good kid. Uh, let's see. Rye grain, sunflower seeds. Just, uh, um, you know what we could do. We could go plant some more of these. I want to get some more end crops going on. That might be what we do before we head out again. It is calm, which is perfect. <gasps> we have our pelts. Oh, that means we can actually make more uh, bigger bags. So we'll bring those with. We'll leave one here because we only need four. And we're also running low on space again, but we have these now. Oh, pick up. You go there. And you go there. And we've got bowls, which means we can actually cook some meals. As long as we have the materials. I think we do, actually. Come here. Trade you for you. And we can make some porridge. Can we do porridge with soybeans? Not without inventory space. 
It's the early game. Dump your inventory wherever you possibly can phase now. Just leave you guys here for now. I'll uh, leave you two. Wait, well, oh, can't build there either. Bring you with. And let's see if we can do porridge with the uh, soybeans or not. Nope. Okay, porridge it is. We have nine, so let's do three servings of relatively hearty rye porridge with uh, the wood that we totally have. Let's burn... Let's burn some bamboo. <laughs> yeah, I'll worry about the jars underground as soon as we actually get food to put in them. I have literally soybeans right now. And even in open storage here, they last for 1.4 years. So not ultra concerned. Oh, hey, we do have papyrus right here, which means we can expand our storage. Let's do it. Drop you in there. And there we go. Okay, so we need to do something like this, right? Yes. Hunter backpack. Oh, and we're out of Pyrrhus. Okay, that used a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah, I, I, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not super concerned about uh, temporary storage space here. Oh, darn it. Cattails. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if you can use them together in recipes or not. Well, we got two more storage spots, slots, which is great. It's a wonderful start. So I think for now, hello, let's not burn all of our bamboo. Uh, and there was some more papyrus up here, but I think we got most of it. So I think we'll hit, yeah, we'll hit up this lake down here. We'll get the papyrus that is growing down here. We will go pick up a lot of wood, which means I want my axe. Maybe even. Do we bring the copper axe? Sure. Just in case. Why do I have one pelt? but two raw hides because I was a dummy. That's why. Okay. I have three pelt. And we will go ahead and we will just cook these up right here. We'll carry you with us. So I guess we will keep burning the uh, bamboo a little while longer. There we go. Have at it. Yeah, Bear, I think you're going to have to be freed here real soon. Getting on my nerves. We'll do that at the end of the stream, I think. We'll let the bear go. Ah, Colin's got good taste. Oh, while we're here, you know what we can do. Actually, no, while we're down there, we'll get some clay, too, so we can make the pickaxe and the hammer. And I think we'll just, uh, you know what, it's not windy. Let's just go do that now. We got plenty of food for the time being. Katie, the, uh, the TOBG is the other block game. You might have heard of it. It's, it's uh, at least a couple people play it, you know. Kind of rare, but unlikely.
It actually isn't just me. It's a, a sort of community joke. Calling it a block game. Boy, this orange light really messes with uh, recognition of things here. Let's go grab this papyrus real quick. Do I have a knife on me? I do. Good start. Ooh, don't uh, don't crouch in the water. We'll lose our torch. You know what? I'll just... Just in case. If I do a dumb thing, I'll be able to recover. You stay here. <laughs> the other black game's underrated. <laughs> oh, yeah. No one's ever heard of it before. I've seen like one or two YouTube videos about the other block game. <laughs> no, Nash, yeah, I think we'll go into creative mode and uh, we'll... we'll We'll copy and then break the uh, the bars on its cage, and we'll just sort of chase them out from behind the cage. Oh, but if it decides to attack us, a uh, different story. Oh, wow. Thank you, Kenneth Bennett. It's been a great first stream once we're done here. Go get lunch with the wife. That is the plan. Thank you very much. I've actually seen people get frustrated and such, like, angry at, what is that other block game? And if I respond, like, it's that other game of blocks, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, dude, chill. It's a joke. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure on the streams yet. Um... I think once we're done here, I'm going to kind of let the community decide. Um, it's going to be... So what I'll do is I'm going to chop it up into probably uh, episodes of 40 to 45 minutes each. And I'll, I'll sort of post those throughout the week. I, I might start out with the regular schedule to give people time to experience it and decide whether they want to keep with this format or sort of switch back to a more just standard episodic format. Um, honestly, though, I've had a lot of fun today. Uh, so I could I could honestly keep doing this. Uh, I'll have to discuss with, with uh, Corazette first uh, whether she can uh, manage to, you know, <laughs> deal with our, our child alone for a couple hours every couple weekends. Uh, it would probably need to be like an every other week thing. I don't know that I can swing a multi-hour span you know, once a week. Um, just life with a toddler is... Life with a toddler. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, so, that will be something to consider. But uh, yeah, I'll put up some polls, um, probably on YouTube, but then I'll, I'll link it on Discord. And once folks you know vote on it, um, we'll make a decision. I think we have enough for our hunter's bags now. But they're here. I must cut them with prejudice. <laughs> here, here, Nasty. Cora's our cam. <laughs> is that is that my uh, that'd be my my second face reveal request like ever? 
some more of this, boy. These, uh, <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> right in my face. Here, let's take a real close look at your papyrus bundles. Now, there were trees somewhere here. Oh, soybeans, too. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, here we go, trees. Let's see if we can get a few more seeds out of these, too. Branchy leaves, here we go. The mix of both might be tricky to do as well. Um, I, I kind of like to use or go for just sort of one format. Because if I have episodes that, that are clearly much more edited, interspersed with episodes that aren't, like I feel like that would be jarring to a lot of viewers. Um, I mean, maybe not people like you who might be asking for that kind of thing, um, but uh, with so many viewers on, on YouTube, like you kind of want to find the happy medium that, that makes as many people happy as possible. And I think switching back and forth could be just be jarring. Um, so I'll try to settle on one format. Those are just leaves, not branchy. Oh, of course. We're going to get this tree and we're going we're gonna to skedaddle. Come on. I hear it. Actually, I see it. It's right beyond the tree. The corner. Oh, here comes our first one. No, thank you. Later, dude. All right, we are going to go run back to base. And we're going to sleep. I can see our friends from here. It's pretty cool. Get our spears out. Uh, Wired Man, I do have some ideas in mind. Um, I do want to do like a, like a nice monolithic base build. Um, I mentioned earlier it's going to be a sort of a temple where we worship three things. The sun, water, and knowledge. So that's kind of all the hint I'm going to give for the time being. Aside from the fact that I did mention I might look at trying to build some kind of library. But that that's a bit of a tall order just because of how difficult it is to actually get materials for building or for making books. All right, let's go sleep here. Get out of this medium temporal activity. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. Yeah, I, I kind of imagine my, my overall style, like my speaking cadence and everything don't change. What will change, of course, would be, oh, hello, would be like, you know, I can't do cuts in a stream, so. There is that. I kind of want to chase down a couple of these guys, so let's go. Hello, friendo. You get out of here. Oh, gotcha. Temporal gear? Nope. No streamer luck today. I see one more. Can I get to him before he despawns? Get back here. Oh my. Oop, missed that one. Oop. Oop. Okay, so it looks like the the reticle for this. That red is like you're not really ready to throw. Yellow is you're ready to throw, but it's gonna be off mark. And then the white is like it's fully ready to throw. That's kind of what I'm Assuming it's going on here, but I'm not quite sure. One flax. Okay. Let's go drop this off, and we're going to go run back to where those acacias are. We're going to get the acacias. We're going to get whatever seeds we can down there, and then we're going to get some clay. And we'll probably finish this episode, or this stream up, by doing a little bit of digging around for some copper. Uh, let's see. We have some soybeans over here. Uh, a little bit of amaranth grain. That'll last plenty while it's here. Uh, leave you. 
Yeah, we could do. Well, we can't we can't make a bucket yet, so that's kind of a moot point. Oh, Osman Fo, thank you. Postpone chores for stream. Well, I guess it's back to chores soon. Yeah, we got about uh, about 20 minutes left on the stream here. Uh, we are going to probably go plant these seeds, at least some of them. Oh, things are so messed up here as far as organization goes. Okay, we'll plant the amaranth seeds. Let's also, really quick, make two more of these hunter's bags. There we go. Let's do that one. And then we should probably be able to do this one. Oh, it takes two pelts. No, it doesn't. Why did it take... Is there a bug? There might be a bug there. I don't like it. As QA, I disapprove of all bugs. Yes, thank you, Osman Fo, for the super thanks. Very generous of you. Oh, I... Wait, what? Did I make two and not realize it? I think it did. <laughs> yeah, the Michael Boomblade jump scare was real. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I kept getting myself with him. That was ridiculous. Okay, where are my bowls at? Here they are. We're going to bring along a bowl. I'm going to leave the bony soil here. But we'll get our bowl and we'll get our soup. There we go. And uh, let's be off. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go drop these seeds in the ground. Oh, I could have brought along some logs to make a actual... Uh, Gate here, but too late. So far, nothing is damaged by heat, which is a good sign. A little nervous about that. There we go. Block pick mod for the win. Uh, and let's drop some more acacias. One there and one there. Perfect. Yeah, I was actually on the fence. Um, I was originally going to like have a poll for like what does everybody want for uh, the ten thousand celebration, and one of the options I was thinking of was like a face reveal. But I feel like I don't know. I was, like that seems kind of lame. Um, maybe someday. Maybe as like a an intermediary celebration for some like non crazy number. Oh man, three body, three body problem is great. Carissa and I watched that. I mean, we've like speed ran that. <laughs> uh, no, this is not have wildcraft trees. Uh, I think we haven't been to this one yet. Floating grass, goodbye. I don't have a shovel. Let's do a shovel. We'll need that for the clay anyway, so. Come on. Okay, anything under here? Probably. Given that it has stairs down. But I could be wrong. Oh, I might be wrong. Hey, thank you. Unfortunately, I can't read. Uh, I can't read that script. So, thank you. Is it called Cyrillic? I think. Okay, getting some good stuff here. I think. Let's see. Now, where did I spot that maybe clay? We'll come back for the trees in a minute. And we have, oh, we have high fertility soil too. Very nice. I was doing that in green, I believe. 
right next to it, we have what we're looking for. So we can get our clay going on. Or our clay. Our copper going on. Take care, Tizona. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Now, one nice thing about living in the desert is, although you do have to contend with relatively poor spoil timers, I mean, you can still make a cellar, and it functions the same as anywhere else, we probably won't need to worry too much about crocs, uh, because we're going to be able to grow pretty much year-round. Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit. Hey, Patrick. Welcome. We'll get, like, another stack or two. And then back to wood. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use the uh, visibility mod for the guide series, but for this it's pretty cool. I mean, if I'm being real, you really don't need more than medium fertility anyway. I wouldn't grow in low, but medium is honestly perfect. Hey, thank you, ape. And... That should do for now. That's plenty. Let's go confirm. I think I can already. That is indeed fire clay. I have that marked already, so we're good there. Ooh, I spy some crops. And we'll come back for that olive tree, too. That's our storage. Doing okay. Get some seeds. We got some more flax down here. Hey, thank you, Forenza. It's awesome to hear. I love hearing from people who get into the game because of the series. It's one of those games where for a while I was resistant to trying it. Uh, YouTube was like, hey, hey, you should watch this game. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And then like for weeks and weeks, it was just like, hey, hey, check out this game. Check out the game, man. Paul Sword Jr. is playing it right now. And finally I came I was like, all right, what is this game about? So I started watching Paul Sword Jr. and... That kind of broke the uh, broke the barrier, broke the seal, as it were. We are pretty full up on storage, so let's eat. Oh, there's more high fertility over here. Keep eating. There we go. H F soil. Sail. Soil. There we go. Those mountains hate loading for some reason. Don't know why, but they hate it. <laughs> but yeah, as far as, uh, as far as hearing from people getting into the game, it's like, I enjoy thinking about that sort of initial resistance of like, ah, do I really want to get into it now? Like, what if I do like it? You know, what if I do like it and I can't put it down? And well, here we are. <laughs> I couldn't put it down, as it turns out. Okay, I think it's as far as I want to explore for, ooh, peanuts. I was lying. I was also lying. I was going to actually uh, do something about our storage stitch. All right. Clay goes in. Uh, all that. Let's put... That should do. For now. And yes, peanuts. So apparently you can now use peanuts in some recipes. Which makes me very happy because peanuts were otherwise kind of 
like really mid. They were okay if you needed something in a pinch, but like I wasn't thrilled to plant them or anything. Ooh, hello, cave. Goodbye, cave. All right, last bit of rice, and then we'll go back to the acacias and then to clay forming. Yeah, I got into a lot of modded other block game for a while, too. Uh, a lot of Feed the Beast. Um, I don't know. That was... That felt like so much extra, even compared to Vintage Story, which, granted, Vintage Story is... It's a labor of love in some ways. Like, especially when you're new and you're terrified and you have no idea what to do about anything in the game. Like, it's... It takes some dedication sometimes to be like, you know what, I'm interested enough to keep going. Um, Feed the Beast was sort of like, oh, well, here's a cool thing you can do, but you gotta wait 40 hours. You want to do a run with a stability feature on? Oh, the, the uh, dirt stability. Yeah, that's not my favorite feature, honestly. Um, hello, hyenas. You're coming this way, aren't you? Yes, you are. Uh, do I take them out? Nah. They can live for now. Let's go ahead and we're going to get a few more seeds from here. I'll burn through my... Uh, maybe not this axe, but at least through my stone axe. Get some sticks too, that's important. I'll bust all that branch of these by hand. And then, away we go. Oops. Hey, I found LARPing A6. Uh, okay. Apparently, YouTube wants me to verify that I am me. So just a moment, guys. Thank you, Google, for the interruption. Okay. Google says I'm good. very weird. That better not be somebody hacking my account. <laughs> I might be me. Vintage Story is great multiplayer, honestly. You should. Um, if you got friends want to play, definitely. Storage space is once again at a premium. Oh dear. Hello, sir. Uh, do you mind? We're just going to do this. Later, dude. Oh, there's more. Goody. Oh. Bye. You're stuck now, buddy. And nothing. All right, let's drop some of these in here, some seeds, buy seeds, and we will drop you guys and the rest of the soil. Probably that too. There we go. All right, we've eaten through all of our meat, so that's cool. It's out of the way. Wait, I'm still holding seeds. Get in there. 
Hey, thanks for Kuna. We're about to wrap up here anyway. I think we might not get to uh, actually dig up that uh, that copper, that malachite today. Even though we are only about seven minutes away from being done here. And I do unfortunately have to go relatively on time. I could probably stretch a couple minutes here, but I do need to go. All right, that's about enough for that. Come here. Come here, tree. Hey, take care, Tender Roast. Thanks for coming. Hey, there we go. Now oh, that's wood. Is this malachite? It is not. Oh, we can't crouch and swim anymore, apparently. Okay. Good to know. Ah, uh, yes, there is a setting it to set for that to work in third person. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but it is available on the wiki. Hello, cow skull. All right, thank you, Amy. You take care, too. Take care, Osmond, and thank you once again. Got six more trees to plant. Let's go do that, and then we'll go do some clay forming and fire up our molds for our first pickaxe and hammer. More copper, too. Sweet. Oh, already found it. Never mind. Thank you, Alcon Jay. Oh, this is sandstone, not limestone. That's why. All right, here we are. Let's get our next set of clay forming going. That bear freaked me out once again. Don't worry, Bear, we're coming for you. Well, well, in a good way, not a threatening way. That was a very threatening thing to say, wasn't it? And pickaxe mold. Here we go. Hey, thank you, Rand Malthus. And thank you, Monty's Girl. Thanks for a very enjoyable stream, and congrats on 10k. Thank you so much. Let's get that going. And there we go. There's that. And we'll just buzz through this. Yeah, yeah, Bear, I hear you. You're very mad at me. Or scared, whichever. Okay, here we go. And I think we need some more grass. Yes, we need some more grass, but that should be pretty quick to get here. Especially given that I have some spare knife blades galore. We have plenty of sticks already. Hey, thank you, Katie. Thanks for coming. Oh, there goes that. Hey, thanks, Wade Parker. Come a long way since that uh, first series, haven't we? 
One, two, one, two, and then a couple of these bad boys. And we have fire. And soon, copper. All right, folks. Let's get rid of this bear. This bear is uh, a thorn on my side. By get rid of it, I mean we're going to chase him off. All right, Crucible, thanks. Ooh, uh, that was dumb of me. <laughs> Good catch. Okay, before we let the bear free, let's do the Crucible first. That stream of forgetfulness is real. I uh, didn't have an, any idea how real it was till now. One point four stable, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> okay, so luckily we have enough sticks and other things. A bit wasteful just doing one, but I don't really need more than one. Oh, whoops. There we go. One more of you. And away we go. Uh, no, we actually have some brown coal, so we're good there. All right, so bear dealing with. Uh, let's put a few things away because I'm going to be going into creative mode and I want to have access to this. Yeah, we already have four bowls and a cooking pot we stole from the uh, friends over here, so I'm not super concerned about that. We're going to pop into creative here temporarily. And we are going to grab... This is the bottom. And this is the top. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Oopsie. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Just drop you there. All right, and Bear, you're going to come with me. Actually, by come with me, I mean we're going to go into game mode one. And you should run away. In theory. Not toward me, that way. You trying to hurt me? No, you just can't get out, can you? You're just a derp. Okay. I guess we will do... Oop. Did I miss this one? I must have. All right, so we're just going to uh, let's see. Are you also the same? You are okay. Be free. Do not attack me. Run away. Run away, sun bear. You should keep running. Keep going. Yeah, I'm scary. Okay, there we go. Bear is sorted. Let's fix up the uh, pen here. And there we go. Hey, thank you, Nashti. Excited for the series and your next milestone. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to whatever that is. I haven't decided what my next uh, milestone is going to be. But that is going to be it for... The stream today. Thank you all for coming. And let me know what you think in the comments. Keep an eye out for uh, the polls I put up for what we should do next. Oh, that cow's having a bad day. And I'll I'll leave creative after that cow dies. <laughs> she doesn't get mad at me. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And keep an eye out for the polls where I will uh, I will be putting up a poll to ask if folks like the format of doing a stream and then cutting it up for videos later or if you'd like to go back to a more standard record and everything else. But, as always, my name has been Gorazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.